welcome back to another episode of Last Elder Survival Tribute Return. Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, hopefully everyone's having an absolutely incredible day of the most amazing variety that only keeps on getting better from here on out. I am doing rather poorly today. Today, our base was the victim of a little something known as influenza. Just kidding. Our base is quite resistant to that. I don't think my base can catch the flu, but it did catch a raid. And some footsteps leading back to a person known as Mixto 1969. Let me just say, I've done a little bit of scouting into this schmuck who decided to break into our base. And ho ho ho, ho baby, we're gonna be getting some significantly better stuff when we get our revenge. Although, let's be honest, revenge, that's the sweetest thing amidst it all. But uh, no, he, they, he's got some really good stuff in store that we're gonna be tapping into. But first things first, we got a junkyard event that decided to grace our map. And I consider myself lucky for that fact, especially since it is the best version of the junkyard event let's freaking go boys and girls it is the raider version of the junkyard event that means that we're gonna be getting into some tussles and these tussles well they involve raiders and we're also gonna be getting quite a little bit of loot so let's begin by no better way than setting the raiders on fire eat fire baby and then eat some firepower on top of it Gra -da -da -da. Goodbye to the first two. Oof, but they are not dropping. Hey, shouts out to the homie. He actually decided to... Sorry about the burp there. Been drinking a little bit of sparkling water. Decided to drop a little bit of that M16 over there. Let me just say, by the way, mm, baby, I found some of this dank sparkling water. Just a hint of lemon inside of there. I know this ain't the sparkling water review channel, but I gotta say, I'm just having a great day because I found some good sparkling water and, uh, well, we feasting, baby. You know what else we feasting on? Something significantly better than sparkling water. Listen, I love him with some sparkling water. No disrespect to sparkling water, but we feasting on a junkyard and then we feasting on a wonderful raid that we got in store for today. Like, boys and girls, this is a banger of a raid that we are going to be breaking into as soon as we clear out this, uh, misunderstanding. Yeah, let's call it that going on at this event. See, the misunderstanding is that this raider is not on fire, so let me just... Just, uh, misunderstand our way into an understanding eat fire baby oh let's make sure we don't die over here though because as much as i love inflicting some fire we are also being fired upon definitely dangerous but the real fire will ultimately triumph and we get ourselves a couple of guns along the way and guns are going to be one of many things that we're going to be getting from that base like seriously we are raiding a stronghold a vault a loot ridden base with loot of the highest tier variety now speaking of good loot i love this event because they have choppers that the raiders rode into this junkyard and these choppers are actually one of the possible things that can spawn an atv battery if we're really lucky we can literally get two atv batteries not just that this military truck over here tends to have some pretty decent stuff in it for now uh, doing kind of okay could be better could be worse we'll definitely settle and we can also utilize pretty cool little thing the amazing thing known has sound that raider is investigating this car but really he's just investigating his soon to be a doom eat some fire raider right? and then a little bit of m16 sprinkles on top it's like an ice cream sundae where well the main dish the main ice cream is the fire and the sprinkles are the bullets and it truly makes for a wonderful sundae i must say now if you'll excuse me oh this person's investigating too i don't know why that person's investigating but hey another one for the flare brigade i'll go ahead and hit him up with one more flare over there because a lot of the damage of the flare that comes in over time and well as we saw this person died while i was walking away looking cool as can be now hopefully we can loot up this car in peace and that's the one thing i really like about this version of the junkyard event as well we don't really need to worry about like zombies bum rushing us right when we decide to loot up one of these obnoxiously loud cars i gotta admit dude it's awful but all we gotta worry about is like a raider wandering over investigating something like that after that we in the clear Guess what? We in the clear. You give me your shoes. Those will last for a solid five seconds before things hit the fan again. But it'll be a great five seconds, baby. The best five seconds of our lives. 
And all right, with a little bit of that fire spread, let's spread a little bit of our more conventional firepower and bring some doom and gloom to that group of raiders over there. Now we just got one more group of raiders that we got to worry about and a continued struggle for shoes. He has no shoes, unfortunately. Our shoe conquest will continue. And ah, nothing that incredible inside of that chopper over there. But do not fret, do not worry. There is still one more chopper that we can investigate. And investigate, we shall. That's gonna be this one. Woo! Right over there! Okay, we're compromised. I got a little too close to the fire. This rocket ship flew a bit too close to the sun. But it's okay. I got my sunscreen on. FPS, not FPS, SPF 9000, baby. 9001. We're dealing with some very powerful sunscreen. Because, uh, well, we definitely flew a little too close to the sun over there. But this motorcycle, I'm not going to lie. I'm really holding out that this motorcycle has the car battery every time I've looted this motorcycle. Ah, it tends to be the one out of all of the motorcycles that actually spawns in what we're looking for. But alas, it does not appear that that is the case today. Hello, I will just loot up this car. Obnoxiously loud, but good thing that the only person that can hear it is me. Very nice, because I don't need to worry about obnoxious zombies running up on us and having a deal with that. Instead, I just got to worry about dead dudes. Well, that's what zombies are. So actually, well, dead dudes, like, they're dead dudes, but they're kind of like undeaded and whoa! Love to see a lot of that. Definitely a fan of the steel plate, and we got some pretty nice stuff on top of it. We got some cogs over there, a little bit of that scrumptious jerky. Let's om nom all over that. Um, these pants? Yeah, I'll leave my pants on. I'll uh, chow down on a band-aid over there. I'll leave behind the glue, grab a little bit of gas. And I'll leave behind some of that scrap metal too. Ooh, not a man. I'm not a man to leave behind some decent SWAT armor. Actually, yeah, I'll toss that SWAT armor on myself. And then I'll put those cameras away. I got plenty back at home that we still got to recycle through. And honestly, as much as I'd love to continue collecting them, we already have so many. And our recyclers already just has like our recycler needs to still recycle so many things from our giant loot stockpile that we have that uh, I don't know if it's with it. I don't really know if it's worth it, comrade. You know? Okay. But what I do know is worth it is this raid. And I say mixto. I'm coming for you, baby, and I am excited to come for this. Mixto, y'all, it's been a, it's been a while, all right? I've been, okay, maybe I'm getting a little bit too, uh, too thirsty here, but it's been a while since we found a base like Mixto. Not a whole super long while, but quite a while. Long story short, your boy's gonna have a huge smile on his face as soon as we finish wrapping up this base over here but first things first we got an inventory full full of loot that we kind of sort of just maybe a little bit gotta put away we got a bathroom over here that kind of sort of just a little bit we gotta go and utilize why i'm a man of culture all right i prefer to spread a little bit of vitamin p within the wonderful confines of this totally not biohazard area don't know what you're talking about completely legit and as we were just saying just a tad bit earlier Oh, the time is nigh. No, not Bill Nye the science guy, as dope as that would be. No, it is not Bill Nye time. The time is nigh for this raid. Raiders, I'm not trying to deal with you. These raiders are very demanding today. I literally gave them all of my med kits, and they're still like, ah, nah, nah, young whippersnappers, not enough to please us. And I took great offense to that because uh, they don't deserve to say such things. No, I think what happened is I accidentally came home with an electronic circuit in my inventory one day. They were not amused. These guys, they really like their electronic circuits. I don't know why, but if you bring home an electronic circuit and you don't stash it in your chopper, if they know you have an electronic circuit, dude, it's it just a can of worms you do not want to open. I don't really know why you'd ever want to open a can of worms unless you're fishing. Speaking of which, we're due for a fishing adventure sometime soon as well, but that's not the moral of this story. The moral of this story is that we got raid and apparently an event that's just the dealer who's a freaking scam artist. Hopefully whatever shenanigans are going on at the gas station, which we broke down pretty in depth in just the last episode. Oh, baby, that sparkling water's hitting. Ah, oh, gosh darn, dude. I do love it. I don't know what it is, man. I'm a sucker for lemons, man. Something about lemons. I love having them on, uh, in my lemonade. I love having them in my sparkling water. Uh, they're, they're, 
there. I, I don't really know if I... Oh, hello, base. How you doing? Yeah, I can't really say I've ever eaten a raw lemon. That might be too far, even for a lemon lover like me. So let's not go too far here. But this raid, we cannot go far enough. Look at this. He flaunts a safe in front of my eyeballs. Bro, do you know how much I would have loved to break into this thing? And I'm not going to lie. You know what this game honestly needs? You know what last day on Earth needs now that I see this thing over here? In one of these upcoming seasons or updates or something, they got to add in a rating update of some sort. If I come across a safe in a base, let there be some sort of a way to break into it, man. Like, honestly, because let me just say, first off, there is a very interesting perk over here. The Blatte Burgler perk, where you can pick master locks. This looks pretty locked up, if you ask me. I'm no lockologist. Wait, just kidding. I am. That perk's maxed out. But... I feel like I should be able to maybe pick that lock or maybe they have some, some kind of like safe cracker perk, maybe like a fourth level into the pick lock. I don't know, but it'd be so cool if they introduced something like that in some way for us to actually break into safes during raids and potentially they could have like, I don't know, some pretty good loot. I'm not saying that when we ourselves get raided, because in case you boys and girls do not know, when for example, you get raided, it's never a real person that steals your loot. It's always like a computer. It's always like the game randomly choosing different walls to break into and that type of jazz right this has been debunked and proven time and time again so when we raid this base we're actually just raiding a copy of someone else's base whatever we take it's obviously in their base but it doesn't like whatever we take the other person doesn't lose if that makes sense because like if you come across this base it'll look exactly the same as what we are checking out now which by the way is another reason that i love raiding it gives you guys some insight into some of the bases that we find and in general it's a great thing because in case you boys and girls ever do go on a raid always make sure that you do search up the name of the base so you kind of know what you're getting into and you're not going in completely blind but back to the safe man it would be incredible for us to be able to break into this or even boom be able to finally utilize this thing over here the metal cutter an item that's been teased for like I don't, I don't even know how long it's been over a year honestly maybe even coming up to two years since this image that you are seeing right here was posted this is actually an image of what we see to be an in-game model of the metal cutter which purpose is actually to break into level four walls the steel walls but on top of steel walls I mean, I'm just saying, it also seems like if it can break through a freaking steel wall, it can probably break through a safe as well. And this is where we're really primed to get, hopefully sometime soon, finally a rating update. The last time we got a rating update has been so freaking long ago at this point, man. Like, whether it just be, like, updating the bases that we come across. Like, these bases that you raid, they've been this way for months, even, like, over a year or something at this point. They've been like this for so long. And it'd be awesome to see an update that maybe updates the loot that we can find in raids. Because currently, I mean, you can't find any of the new loot. Like, even some of the stuff we found in the junkyard, for example. Like, with the potential for the ATV car battery, the cogs, the rubber, all of these new resources. You literally cannot find a whiff of within raids and with all of the updates and all of the new resources that have been added to the game i genuinely feel like we are honestly due for a rating update and even if last day on earth isn't actively developing one i feel like we should definitely come together as a community and be like yo kafir last day on earth please do something about this man like come on there are so many resources out there that aren't even incredibly rare they're just new resources and we can't even catch a whiff of them because, well, they're just not in bases yet. Even if we maybe had a really small chance of, if we're, like, really lucky, for example, right? It'd be awesome if they added the ability for us to find, like, a lead plate or even just, like, raw lead ore. Maybe some acid. You know, what is it? Freaking ash planks? Maybe a small amount of those? Gunpowder? Explosive material? All this type of jazz. There's so, like, even a little bit of the peat over there, a little bit of sulfur. I'm not saying a lot, but even, like, a little bit. It'd be so cool for them to update that and have raids kind of encompass a lot of the changes because currently raids, they're stuck in the last decade, bro. We're in the 20s now and raids have got to follow. And honestly, like I'm saying, I think adding in the metal cutters, potentially letting us use metal cutters on safes over here or even have us like, you know, have the perk that I was talking about. The pick, sorry about the burp again. 
lock perk be able to let us like break into safes on raids or maybe like a new lock pick type of item that we could craft specifically for safes there's so many cool possibilities so many new things to do and so many potential opportunities not to mention especially now that there are a lot of like new work benches and stuff as well and just like decorations like we could be raiding entirely new types of bases but no that does not happen and that makes me a little bit sad but like i'm saying hopefully it's something that we can't see coming up soon with that metal cutter being able to use that potentially the perk that i was talking about lock picking into these safes breaking into metal walls with bases that do have metal walls there's so many opportunities and even like man just finding new types of loot in raids you know although i'm not complaining so I'm very happy that this raid is exactly the loot that it has. And we'll be going over that a little bit more in depth. But, but, but for now, thank you, Mr. Safe, for, well, inspiring me to bring up some of that jazz. Because, man, let me just say, it just has to be said. And it's definitely a topic that I did want to... Hello, he's got another chopper. Sorry, distraction. What? Okay. Uh, what do you got in store? Oh, a lot of gas. Oh, glug, 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 glug. Let's go ahead and chuck, 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 chuck. All of the gas that we can out of that chopper and siphon it up into there now unfortunately that's not a lot of gas for the time being we still we have not been able to siphon all of the gas that this lad has but a fair amount of it if i do say so myself but yeah let me know what you boys and girls do think about this i definitely wanted to bring this up as a topic of discussion and hopefully it's something that we can get kafir to acknowledge and hopefully they can come up with a rating update soon man just like updating the types of bases we're coming across some of the tools that we can use and definitely some of the loot that we can get as well but uh they definitely should keep safes like safe when you use them in your base i'm just saying that you know when you're actually raiding a base it's possible to break into them but if you have a safe like it can't get broken into by the computer because safes are still incredibly rare incredibly hard to get and they should definitely protect your own stuff but if you come across one there should definitely be a cool way of getting it at least that's my thoughts on the topic and especially with that metal cut or something that i wanted to show off bada bing bada boom and we're in but yeah, man, that metal cutter has been teased for such a long time. It'd be so cool to finally be able to use it for exactly what it's meant for. And it just makes raids so much more dynamic and so much more, I don't know, just the anticipation, man. Because now if you come across a steel wall, it's kind of like, oh boy, steel room. This is awful. All right, this is like getting a, it's like a, I don't know, it's like getting yogurt with a candle in it for your birthday, man. No one wants yogurt with a candle in it for your birthday. Even just a cupcake. I'll take a bloody cupcake, but yogurt with a candle in it? Man, that's just some disrespect. And you know, I don't know about disrespect to this situation, but listen, man. If you come across a steel room, you should be hype if you got the proper tools. Because odds are, woo, love what I'm seeing. Odds are that there might be some really good stuff hidden behind a steel room within a raid. And... There's just so many potentialities that could be opened up. But for now, the one potentiality that I'm interested in is the wonderful loot that we're coming across over here. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Woo! Look at all of the weapons. Already, nine full durability glocks, a little bit of shotgun rain. And let's not forget, there are many uh, more chests to go, one of which has a little bit of good armor and a minigun now if you'll excuse me i reckon we got more than enough stuff to shove in the back of our chopper and uh well take things from there because here's the thing actually this is not a normal raid this is a revenge raid so we answer to nobody we don't gotta share however we do need to recover some of our loot i believe that they stole a weapon of some sort from me in addition to taking a little aluminium. So we investigate a little bit, see what's going on. Blah, 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 blah. But yeah, y'all, that metal, that metal cutter is something I've been excited for for so long. And even just to hear Last Day on Earth give an update on things and just kind of keep us in the loop with what's going on. Because that metal cutter has been developed so long ago and we still have not really seen in entirely it its purpose, man. And I... I'm very intrigued. Color me intrigued, Batman. All right, if I'm a coloring book, color me the color of intrigue. Because I want to know what's going down over here. And hello, we found our aluminum and a poop ton of armor and a poop ton of angry zombies that are going to be going down the rabbit hole of death. I 
don't think that's a rabbit hole. That might be more like a black hole, maybe like a sinkhole. I don't think a rabbit hole tends to lead to death. Then again, I'm no rabbit holeologist, okay? I am a chestologist, a lootologist, nay, a lootaholic. Why else would I go on raids every single day imaginable? It just, oh, 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 just makes me happy, man. Let's go. That brings our aluminum total. I mean, nine of that aluminum is our old aluminum, but nonetheless, it brings our total up to almost a full stack. Aluminum plates, steel plates, oak, not bars, planks, wrenches, a pretty obnoxious loot item to find if you're going out of your way to find them. So always good to just pick those up whenever you come across them. You know, my goodness gracious, man. It, it, it's, it's just like a bag of Skittles with all these colors, man. Whoa! We still got so many to go. And I'm not one to usually do this, but I will most definitely be grabbing me some of this stuff that we see right over here. I'll also be leaving behind some of this other jazz, but definitely grabbing some of the full stacks of green and yellow tickets. Star white and the red tickets, too. Because, I mean, we got a lot of green and yellow tickets. But we are starting to drain through them a little bit. And this base does have quite a few. But I do definitely want to grab some of that SWAT armor that we done diddly seen. Definitely want to grab the helmet. Definitely grab the shoes over there. We still got this gun over here. And, hmm. We still got to figure out exactly how things are going to be going. But like I'm saying, let me know in that comment section down below your boys and girls thoughts on the metal cutter on this raid update that I am talking about that we honestly are really due for. And I really want to kind of like learn more about it. And hopefully we can cause up a bit of a ruckus and get last day on earth slash Kafir to uh, kind of recognize it a little bit. So make sure to let me know in that comment section down below what your lads and lassies do to think about it. Especially because like with the metal cutter and being able to like, I don't know, break in the walls. It'd be so cool to have the metal cutter become a new piece of loot. Kind of like C4 that's super rare to come across. But when you come across it, it's like, whoa, this is dope. And you know it means that you got a potential great raid on your hands somewhere down the line. Or even somehow being able to craft the dang thing. Although, with how obnoxious C4 are to craft, I don't even want to know how obnoxious something that breaks into steel walls would be. So like I'm saying, make sure to let me know in that comment section down below. Yo, lads and lassies thoughts. And I'd love to ho hopefully have a discussion started down there about all these things that I've been going over. Woo! Love to see some more aluminum plates. Never something that I would not mind. So yeah, make sure to let me know in that comment section down below. And a reminder that that comment is going to put you one third of the way. It's the week of $25 at your such place to a gift card giveaway. All you got to do as well is make sure the like button, make sure to subscribe, that lunch you win on today's video. Y'all can go ahead and enter in on every single last day on Earth video when Saturday rolls around. We'll pick random videos for the past week, pick a random comment from that random video, and that'll be the winner for the week, and we'll kick off a new weekly giveaway that exact same Saturday as well. So make sure you stay tuned with that notification bell to stay up to date with every single video. Y'all can enter in on for that weekly giveaway not to mention all the other dope survival games going up on the channel as well of course that notification bell oh speaking of steel robes speaking of devil we got one right over there with a lot of windows may i add but as i was saying speaking of that man oh dudes we've been playing some awesome survival games we got some awesome survival games on the horizon that are going to be going up honestly within the next couple of days keep your eyes e eyes and ears peeled ears peeled for that notification bell ding Definitely hit it if you haven't already. And eyes for the notification itself, not to mention your YouTube feed. Because uh, we got an awesome survival game we should be checking out within the next couple of days. And of course, the continuance of, well, us moving towards Season 5. Keeping you all in the loop with new news, all that type of jazz. Anything new that we do uh, come across. And the incredible 7 days to die and no man's land. Not no man's land. This land is my land. I always think of it as no man's land for some reason. I have no idea why. That's besides the point. Hello, we got some wonderful paint over there. But unfortunately, I like armor. And I think that I'm going to grab the armor instead. Goodbye to the oak log. I don't need that. Uh, I will need the boots. I will say goodbye to that armor. Glug, glug, glug. Eat up that. Mm, and maybe, 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 maybe. I kind of want to grab some paint, man. I'm not going to lie, because low-key, I have gone through paint shortages in the past. But, I don't, man, I don't even know what color I'd want to grab. And low-key, I kind of want to just grab more SWAT armor, but I already got a full set. I don't really have anything I want to get rid of in my inventory. Although, hold up, we should be able to free up, bloop, another slot just like that. So we can move up to two, and honestly... 
I'm a big fan of the swap boots because not only do they give us better armor, we also move faster with them. Moving fast is nice because we can hopefully outrun zombies on the lickety splicket here. But uh, let's continue chopping through things. We could probably get rid of our hatchet here in just a little bit. Nothing super insanely new there. Maybe we break into this blue chest over here and see what that's all about. Okay, just a bunch of cards, bro. I'm not here to play blackjack or war or spades or go fish. I'm here to play raid. Not not that one mobile game that like every YouTuber and their moms talks about. I, I mean like, like, like literally raiding someone. Okay, okay. Glad we've had that established. Although, I mean the game I'm talking about, not too shabby either to say the least. I definitely had my fair share of fun with it. But all right, honestly, I'll, man, I don't know what I'll do. I kind of want to, I'm not going to lie, use the rest of this hatchet and bring the big one down upon us. Why don't we, eh, for the sake of YOLO, all right, as a wise man once said, you only live once. That's the motto, YOLO. Uh, well, actually, here's the thing. We don't live once. In last day on earth we live quite a few times so i think i think it's worth a yolo if we have to panic we come here we swap out the hatchet we grab those boots and we'll be good to go maybe i'll just grab a fresh set of everything though because all of our other armor got a wee bit dinked up over there and all right why don't we break through uh i don't know this chest how much durability does that leave our hatchet literally Probably one chop left. Show me what you got. Okay. Wow. Absolutely nothing that incredible. Well, okie dokie. There's going to be a very angry big old fella coming my way. Hey, big one. How you doing? Please don't mind me. I got to go. My mom's calling me. Uh, dinner's ready. She made chicken and uh, uh, a side of uh, popcorn chicken. Chicken with a side of popcorn chicken. It, it, it's a glorious meal. The best, the best meal you've ever had. Okay. Okay. And there we have it. Mixed dough. 1969 successfully raided and i'm not gonna lie i'm a little bit puzzled why no events are popping up man it feels like the last couple of days we've just been having a bit of an event shortage and yeah we really have not been running across much bit of a bummer but the raid itself bit of a w if you ask me maybe we'll go and explore the pine bushes over here real quick and see if we can't maybe get another event to spawn by coming in here and then leaving really quickly we got some options to mess around with. But yeah, definitely make sure you boys and girls do check out the Seven Days to Die series, the This Land is My Land series, both of which we newly started literally within like just the last week. And oof, nothing new is popping up. And they've been an awesome series so far, you boys and girls that have been checking out. Do really seem to love it. So thank you guys and girls so much for the support on those. And hopefully you keep on enjoying it because it's been a ton of fun to play. And obviously, if you guys are having fun with it as well, it's just a huge bonus because at, at the end of the day, I just want to make sure to spread a little bit of fan freaking fantasticness hopefully a laugh, a smile, a giggle, anything or everything like that. And if I can't spread it, nonetheless, I'm crossing my fingers and hoping for nothing but the best. And hopefully those smiles and giggles and laughs come in your way, regardless of if it's from my video or from a cute dog video that you saw or a cute cat video or a cute, uh, cute rock video. Rocks. Definitely adorable. You see Patrick's pet rock in that one SpongeBob episode? Let me just say, cuteness factor off the charts. But yeah, with that said, with that done, it's gonna start bringing an end to this episode. A last day on Earth survival. Make sure that your boys and girls are staying tuned for more last day on Earth and plenty of other awesome survival adventures we got coming your way. If you haven't given the other adventures a go, definitely give them a try because things are getting very juicy in those series and uh, well, I can't wait to continue having fun with them. But with that said, with that done, that's going to start wrapping it up for me for now. Thank you guys for holding for watching. Have yourselves an awesome one. And I'll talk to you in the next one. See ya.